Washington State Patrol opened a new way station along Interstate 90 this week. That new facility allows troopers to check if trucks are safe and keep them moving at the same time. And KXY 4's Eric Lodi live at that new facility with a look around and uh, some big trucks uh, moving through this morning too. Yeah, it's just starting to pick here, uh, pick up here at the way station. We're actually standing on one of the scales. This building has one on each side, so uh, they can get trucks moving through here uh, really quickly. Don't even have to stop. We're joined with Trooper Troy Briggs from the State Patrol. And Troop, does every truck have to come through the way station when they're coming into, into Washington? Uh, actually, yes, they do. Um, but, you know, there are some new technologies, like we talked about earlier, that would allow some of those trucks uh, to actually bypass the scales. But uh, as it sits right now, every truck has to come through. And if you see one bypass it, what does the state patrol do? What happens to them? Uh, they chase them down, uh, they stop them, uh, and they actually bring them back, uh, and, and weigh them specifically, and, and then uh, possibly inspect them. What are some of the violations that troopers are looking for when they bring trucks in through? What are some of the things that you guys, that, that keep the truck safe on the road? Well, obviously, we talked earlier about, you know, uh, brake issues. So, you know, obviously with a, a rig that's, you know, 80,000 pounds, having brakes that are adjusted properly is an important thing. Um, but, you know, a number of things, too, you know, because this is a scale. It, it does weigh these vehicles. And, and there's, you know, uh, gross vehicle weight that they have to be, you know, within compliance with. Plus, you know, other things like axle weight um, per tire based on tire size, stuff like that. Now, you have the way station here. There's also a brand new building, much larger facility than the old one just down the road. What do you do out there? What's that for? Yeah, actually, at our old facility, we didn't even have an inspection bay like this. And this is the new inspection bay. And, and what this does, this allows these uh, commercial uh, vehicle officers to inspect uh, commercial motor vehicles uh, in, anytime, 365 days a year, even if there's snow. Uh, they pull them through here. Um, there's actually a place where the officers can walk underneath these trucks and inspect them. Whereas before, you know, they'd have to be on like a creeper and, and, and crawl underneath them and, and do the inspection that way. And the idea is you want to move these trucks through here as quickly as possible. Yeah, absolutely. It, it not only makes it more efficient for the officers to do these inspections, but we're able to move these trucks through here, whereas an inspection could have taken an hour before you know, they, they can make it take 20 minutes before. So, you know, not only is it more efficient for our, our enforcement officers here, but it's also more efficient and, and effective for, you know, the, the drivers of the commercial motor vehicles to get them in here and get them out here very quickly. All right, Troy, thanks very, very much. We're gonna keep talking about the new way station, telling you about it. Also gonna tell you in the next half hour about what's gonna happen to the old one. That story coming up.